A lookup table block uses an array of data to map input values to output values. Lookup tables are primarily used to model algorithmic components and physical systems with complex input-output relationships using empirical or recorded data. Two typical use cases are feature function tuning as a part of product tailoring. Lookup tables give you the flexibility to tailor product characteristics over analytic structured equations. For example, you can manually edit cells in this table in this electric vehicle reference application to fine tune the vehicle response to accelerator pedal inputs. This is known as on the fly tuning and a common practice in industry for tuning nonlinear control system features. Physical system or plant modeling. Suppose you have laboratory or experimental data describing a physical system model in Microsoft Excel. You can bring that into a lookup table by pasting values directly from Microsoft Excel. With the enhanced lookup table editor released in R2022A, you can interactively edit a lookup table. In the rest of this video, an electric vehicle reference application will be used to show how you can edit a lookup table. You can access the electric vehicle reference application from Powertrain Blockset. There are different ways to access the lookup table editor. In Simulink, from the Modeling tab, click Lookup Table Editor. Another way to access the Lookup Table Editor is through the Simulink Library Browser. Under Lookup Tables, when you add a Lookup Table to your model, you can access the Lookup Table Editor from the Context tab or through the Block dialog. You can also access the Lookup Table Editor through the MATLAB command line. And you can also access lookup tables in the Autosart block set under the classic platform library routines interpolation. We now access the lookup table editor from the Simulink modeling tab. This launches the lookup table editor. This shows all the lookup tables in the model. To discuss further, let's use a 2D table used to estimate resistance based on state of charge and battery temperature. Click the table to view it in the lookup table editor. You can visualize this lookup table in line, mesh, surface, or contour formats from the plot tool strip. As you click on the different types of plots, a new tab opens up. You'll notice that the active plot type has a gray background in the plot tool strip. To close, just click the plot type in the plot tool strip. You can also overlay this with a heat map. To activate the heat map, click the heat map icon. You can see this as a gray highlight. To deactivate it, click it again. In the rest of this example, we'll use the mesh format. If you click on an element in the table, you can see that point highlighted on the plot. Similarly, you can see points of an entire row or column or just a portion of the table. You can also use the up, down, and left, right keys to move across points on the mesh. You can edit this table by inserting a row above or below, or inserting a column left or right. You can use the delete button to remove a row or column. You can enter values directly into the cells. Similarly, you can also enter values for the breakpoints on the axes. You can right-click a field in the table or the axes to access additional options such as undo, redo, cut, copy, insert, delete, and heat map on or off. Suppose you want to go back to the starting point before you started editing the lookup table, use the reload button. You can also change the view by selecting different axes. As you click on the different fields in the table and the axes, you can see the corresponding data source at the bottom of the lookup table editor. Physical system or plant modeling is one of the use cases for lookup tables. Laboratory or experimental data used to describe physical systems can be used to create lookup tables. You can copy paste such data from Microsoft Excel into a lookup table. As you edit points in this table, you'll notice a yellow border on the cells where data was modified. This indicates that the data has not been saved yet. To save the data to the data source, click Apply. Suppose your data source is the workspace, you can use the Apply button to finalize your changes to the workspace. You can use the data source to identify the source of the data in the table. For example, this could be data in the workspace. Once you've completed making your changes, you can export the lookup table in the form of a report. To find this lookup table in the Simulink model, right-click the table and select Show in Simulink. 
In this video, you saw how to edit a lookup table using the lookup table editor. To learn more, visit the lookup tables documentation page and explore the work with lookup tables section.